Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Regina and on this channel I pretty much just show my life which includes makeup, skincare, healthy eating and all that kind of jazz. So if that sounds like something you are interested in then I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button to be notified of when I post a new video. For today's video, I decided to do a like get unready with me because I filmed a skincare video before but it was more of like showing you my skincare routine but I thought as I have a full face of makeup on I'll do an actual get unready with me and usually I clip back my hair or put it up in a ponytail or something. I found this in one of my drawer, this headband and thought it's cute so I'm gonna put it on to take off my makeup and things like that. If you are interested in how I created this uh, makeup look I filmed it for an Instagram reel so definitely go and follow my Instagram page. This look was gifted to me by a, a makeup brand the eye and the I had a lip um, product as well but it's obviously come it's come off during the day so if you are interested to see how I made this look keep an eye out on my Instagram. For my first product for today I've actually never tried this product before I was very kindly gifted this on my Instagram. Uh, they don't know I'm using it today in this video but I wanted to and it's the Face Theory Clarifying Cleanser. As you can tell I haven't even opened it, it literally only arrived today and like I say I was very kindly gifted this from Face Theory. This and something else. It's a triple acid cream cleanser that removes makeup and impurities and this is designed a combination and oily skin because if you don't know I have a combination skin type which means I get very oily but I get very dry as well and I picked the gently scented as well because I don't mind fragrance gently scented I know they did have an option if you don't like scented things um they did have a non-scented option but I wanted to get it scented because I just prefer it scented so that's my first thing for today. Ooh, kind of smells like lemon, which is not surprising because I don't want to tip it too much. It's kind of like a off, like yellow color, like a creamy yellow. Mmm, that's nice. Weird because usually I use this the Garnier or Garnier sorry my cellar water so I'm used I'm used to taking off my makeup with a like water so to take it off with a cream is a little different for me but I'm very interested to try it to see if it actually works so I just scoot some out with my spatula just get in some water because it says on the side to scoop some out and then sort of mix it with warm water excited to use this. I feel like I should start with my eyes. Let's go for the eyes first. Mm. This is nice because it's not a it's not a heavy cream because I don't usually like using cream skincare on my face because sometimes some creams are too heavy and they make my face even more oily and I don't I don't like that this is actually like a an, a thin cream this is nice it's quite soothing as well now I'm just gonna rinse this all off is really nice my skin feels really soft and for a first cleanse where I've just taken off like heavy makeup my skin already feels really clean the only thing is which you can probably tell is I've still got mascara on so I'd probably recommend you taking off your eye makeup first and then using this 
everywhere else just because I'm still left with mascara on my eyes because stuff like this you don't want to rub too much into your eyes because it's not the best thing um but the rest of my face looks and feels really clean I'm really happy with this truly and I can't wait to use it even more in the future so the next step I'm gonna I always like to do a double cleanse no matter what I think I said that in my skincare routine so for my second cleanse I'm going to use the CeraVe foaming cleanser the normal to combination skin while I'm doing this what is your favourite step of your skincare routine? When you do your skincare, what's the part that you get like the most enjoyment out of? For me at first, when I first started doing skincare, like at college and things, I always thought the mask was my favourite part because it was the most relaxing and you have like there's so many different masks that do so many different things honestly now i've been doing my i do my skincare like every day and have done for the past few years i honestly think my like double cleanse that is my favorite step because whether i've worn makeup or not your skin can still get like grimy and dirty whether you like I say whether you've worn makeup or not so I think I really like the double cleanse because my skin always just feels and looks so much better just from cleansing I think cleansing is my favorite step but what's yours let me know in the comments I'd really love to know step i'm using the uh beauty bay exfoliating toner like i said in my skincare routine i love this toner or exfoliator sorry or exfoliator and toner um it's really good and i very highly recommend and it's also very affordable as well <laughs> step i'm going to be using the beauty bay clarifying serum in my last video i used the balance balancing serum this time i'm using the clarifying one just because um if you don't know what this clarifying serum does it's pretty much meant to have help you uh if you get breakouts which i have had a few recently which is fine i'm just gonna put it on the literally it, the main areas i get breakout is like the lower half of my face and neck i don't know why but i do so i'm literally just going to put this serum just put the excess on my forehead but i mainly as you as you just saw put it like on the bottom half of my face next step i don't do this all the time but i do do it probably like once a week I use the Barry M lip scrub and this is in watermelon and I always like to do this before I moisturize because I if you don't if you've never used a lip scrub before they're usually quite messy so I pick some up on like the back of my finger I don't know if you can see that I definitely just tipped a load down myself I just apply it and rub it to my lips and because it is quite messy, I feel like if I put moisturiser on, all this area is not going to be moisturised because I've rubbed quite a lot of it off. So I always do it before I moisturise. product i'm using the beauty bay day one moisturizer helps to protect and hydrate your skin and it's designed for normal oily and combination skin types i really do like this um moisturizer 
because as I was saying earlier about I don't like heavy creams on my face because they make me really oily this isn't so I use like this is one and a half pumps and I just sort of dot that on my face and as I don't know if you can kind of tell but it's quite like a jelly moisturizer it's actually not like a cream so it doesn't make me oily at all which is great i love it <laughs> and i literally just use my fingertips to blend it all in for my last product for today is another face theory product that was also very kindly gifted to me this is the sun Frigma. it's a sunscreen it's got spf 50 with a four star uva protection which is amazing oh, i need to pop it i need a pin <laughs> got some tweezers let's see if this will work i don't know <laughs> Anyway, what was I saying? It'll be interesting to see how thick this sunscreen. Oh, there it is. It's also a very yellowy colour. It's all face. If you've ever tried Face Theory skincare, is all their skincare like a yellow colour? Because the cream was, the cleanser was, and this sun cream is. Put a little bit more on. At the moment, it looks quite thick but I'm not really going to know until I apply it to my face. <laughs> it doesn't smell of anything. <laughs> I, was, I wanted to give it a sniff. I was like, I didn't think I could smell anything. <laughs> it does say on the tube to leave it for 15 minutes to let it sink into your skin the problem i have with sun creams or sunscreen sometimes is that they're just sometimes a bit too oily and it's fine for now because after this i'm not going to be applying any makeup and i'm just like probably just going to chill and then go to bed but if i woke up and used this in the morning i would have to apply it then wait to apply my makeup because if I put makeup straight on this the foundation will definitely like not mix well with it and as you saw it does kind of leave at first a very like white tinge to your face it is sinking in quite a thick sunscreen but it's well the looks of it makes it look it looks like it's quite a thick sunscreen but when i was rubbing it in it felt very thin but i don't know i think i need to use it more to see if i'm gonna like this this obviously was my first time trying it and i'm i don't dislike it but i'm not that impressed either the only thing that makes me really like it is that, that it has spf 50 and it's got a four star UVA protection because that's amazing. And it's a big tube as well. I need to sort of use it more to see if I actually like this. I was going to take the ears off, but I think I might just keep them on to do this outro because they're cute. My like get and ready with me. I hope you enjoyed. And thank you, Face Theory. Like I said at the start, they don't know I'm doing this YouTube video and talking about their products. But if they do see this, thank you, Face Theory, for sending me these products. If you enjoyed, if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and ding the bell to be notified on when I post a new video. Thank you for watching. I hope you're feeling a little bit more calm and relaxed. And like I say, you could, if, if you wanted to, you could get unready with me while I was doing this. Um, but I hope you still enjoyed and that you feel a little bit better in yourselves. And yeah, I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.